Brown from Studio B at Scotch Plains Fanwood High School, Ada Roshansky and Brittany Larkin. Hello and welcome to this update edition of 34 News. I'm Ada Roshansky. And I'm Brittany Larkin. All you lovebirds out there, that special holiday is approaching us, Valentine's Day. In honor of this day, a Mr. Valentine's Day show will be held at the high school on February 10th. Contestants will have to perform a special talent as well as walk the runway in their best fashions. And tickets will be sold for $6. Be sure to get yours. Student class officers hold their annual Valentine's Day dance this Saturday, February 11th. Tickets were sold every morning prior to the dance in the front and main entrances. With tickets being $8 a piece, it wasn't a bad deal. The dance will take place in the new gym, and with many participants signed up, it's sure to be a blast. Attention 80s lovers, the Junior Statesman of America will be hosting an 80s sock hop. The club, JSA, has not yet announced a date for this event, but it is sure to be a good time. So get ready to style your side ponytails and pull out your leggings because the 80s are coming back. Tickets will be on sale soon, so be sure to purchase them. Valentine's Day Sales, Student Movement Against Cancer Selling Kisses. Holding one of their many fundraisers, Smack selling sour gummy lips. A dollar a bag, with the funds collecting towards the Relay for Life, Smack's hoping for everyone to pucker up some change. SGA's in Valentine's Day Spirit too selling carnations and Valentine's Day grams for the very special day. Every carnation has its own meaning, red for love, pink for a crush, and white for friendship. With a dollar for a carnation, it's a simple and thoughtful gift, sure to make anyone special to you smile. Now let's go on location for more. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Berman on location for Channel 34 News, and I'm here with three members of SGA, Colin Weber, Jared Schmelick, and Mark Sikara. So Colin, why exactly are you guys selling the carnation? Uh, we're raising money for SGA for upcoming events like the Blood Drive and Senior Citizens Day. That's really nice. And Mark, how much do they cost? One dollar. And Jared, what do the colors for the carnation symbolize? Well, there are three colors. Red is for love, pink is for crush, and white is for friendship. That's really cool. Good luck with the carnations. This has been Gabrielle. We're now back to the studio. And now let's go to Arts and Entertainment with Morgan Finkel. The SPFHS band is preparing and getting excited for their four-day trip this year that will take place on Thursday, April 20th to Sunday, April 23rd. This year, the band is heading to Boston, Massachusetts. Bands performing in Boston include Wind Ensemble, Concert Band, Freshman Band, Moon Glowers, SPF Jazz, and for the first time on the trip, the Jazz Lab Band. All choruses will also be performing. This week's top five songs are one, Run It by Chris Brown, two, Because of You by Kelly Clarkson, three, So Sick by Neo, four, If It's Lovin' That You Want by Rihanna, and five, Feel Good Inc. by The Gorillas. Now let's go to Critics Corner with Jesse and Matt. Hi, welcome to this week's Critics Corner. With the 78th Annual Academy Awards just around the corner, this week we're going to do some Oscar predictions. Now, I'm not going to bother to say all the nominees because that would take a while, so... My prediction for uh, the Best Actor category will probably go... is that the Oscar will probably go to Philip Seymour Hoffman, who played um, Truman Capote in Capote. Uh, Best Actress will probably go to Charlize Theron in North County. Best Supporting Actor will probably go to Paul Giamatti for Cinderella Man. And um, Best Supporting Actress will probably go to Michelle Williams for Brokeback Mountain. Best Director um, is really anybody's guess, but I'm thinking it'll probably go to Ang Lee for Brokeback Mountain. And Best Screenplay will definitely go to Crash. So um, those are my predictions, and now here's Jesse. It looks to me like um, the Oscars are going to follow in the the trend of anticlimactic events, you know, such as the Super Bowl. There doesn't seem to be that much drama. It seems to be a pretty weak um, class this year in terms of nominated films. My two favorites this year were Four Year Old Virgin and Walk the Line. Uh, Walk the Line was nominated for a couple of Oscars. It wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Uh, Virgin wasn't nominated for anything. Um, back to the studio. Now let's get a weekend preview with D Squared. Hi, this is Dana Hankin. And this is Daniel Crawford. D Squared. With your weekend preview. This week in movies, we have When a Stranger Calls, Nanny McPhee, Brokeback Mountain, and Final Destination 3. And this weekend for sports, there's a wrestling match t tomorrow against Bridgewood Away. This has been D Squared with your weekend preview. Now, now back, back to, to the studio. studio. Now let's go to sports with Samantha. 
Thanks, Brittany. The Raider girls varsity swimming team suffered from a heartbreaking loss at Counties last Saturday, February 4th. Unfortunately, the girls took second to arch rival Westfield, who placed first. Scotch Plains Fanwood was winning by 21 points before the breaststroke when Westfield started catching up. It ended up coming down to the final event, the 400 free relay. Westfield ended up winning the event, giving them the Union County title. Key swimmers were Melissa Helock, Mary and Kristen Hankels, Jillian Murphy, Becca Fox, Katie Kosnick, Kate Johnson, and our very own hard news anchor, Brittany Larkin. Now let's go on location to find out more. I'm Mike Bell, on location here with two uh, girls swimmers. So how's the season going so far? The season's going pretty well. We've only lost twice, and that was due to some injuries. And I heard there was a county tournament recently. Do uh, you want to tell me something about that? Counties was really well. Unfortunately, we lost to Westfield. It was really close, but um, it was an overall good meet. That sounds great. And uh, who are some key swimmers this season? Some key swimmers this season are Brittany Larkin, Melissa Hillock, the Hinkle sisters, Kate Kosnick, Kate Johnson, and Kim Rizzo. Okay, and uh, what are you guys looking forward to for the state tournament? We're hopefully looking forward to winning states and um, coming back second year state champs. All right, that sounds great. This has been Mike Bella on location. Now back to the studio. The varsity girls soccer team is more than excited for their trip to Brazil this August. Captains Lauren Maines, Ali Zali, and Ali Hamilton will be going to the trip along with Coach Ewing, Coach Tobier, and about 12 other girls. The trip will consist of the team training with other Brazilian coaches and playing against other various Brazilian teams for about a week and a half. The team will visit San Paulo and Rio, and they plan to have a great time. Now let's go on location to find out more. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Berman, on location for Channel 34 News, and I'm here with a member of the girls Raider soccer team, Lauren Maines. So Lauren, I hear you guys are going to Brazil soon. When are you guys going? Um, we're going for a week and a half in late August, right before the start of double sessions. That sounds like a lot of fun. And why exactly are you guys going? Um, we are going to train with like Brazilian coaches and play against some Brazilian teams. We're going to be playing soccer for like four to five hours a day. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Have fun with that. This has been Gabrielle Berman. Now back to the studio. Star Ledger recently ranked our very own varsity girls basketball team first in the county. A record of 13-5 and five is good enough to qualify the team for states, and they are still waiting for their county and state tournament seeds. Captains Lonnie Kay and Lauren Benavango and the rest of the team are looking forward to a successful postseason. Now let's go back to Brittany and Ada. Now let's go to Car of the Week with Pat and John. the partner they were telling me about? It, it's you? Sweet! This white 96 vet is owned by senior Randolph Smith, and it has monster speed. Hey! 
This vet is rolling on some Eagle HP tires with a 19 inch rim. That's sweet. So Pat, what's going on the inside of the car? Well Bernie, inside here is pretty sweet. We got some nice beige leather interior all over. Also this car drives automatic and Randolph never rolls without his iPod. This concludes our first edition of Car of the Week. I'm Pat Minio. And I'm John Birnbaum. Let's go back to the studio. Now let's see what's storming up for the weekend with Tornado Ted. Hi, this is Tornado Ted reporting for 30 Food News here at the Weekend Weather Report. On Friday, we have a high of 38 degrees and a low of 20 with mostly cloudy skies. On Saturday, we have a high of 37 degrees and a low of 22 with some blizzards expected at late at night. And on Sunday in the morning, the blizzard is supposed to leave the northern eastern area with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 22. This has been Tornado Ted reporting for 34 News. Now back to the studio. That wraps it up for this 4 or 5 edition of 34 News. We'd like to wish you a happy Black History Month. I'm Brittany Larkin. And I'm Ada Roshansky. Make sure to tune in next week for 6-7's update.